Welcome to today's video, where we explore how the type of investor you choose can either propel your business forward or create unforeseen challenges. Let's start with venture capitalists or VCs. These investors bring significant capital and expertise to early stage businesses, helping them scale rapidly. Sounds great, right? But there's a downside. VCs typically demand control and push for aggressive growth. This example is WeWork. Backed by major VC firm SoftBank, WeWork's global expansion far outpaced what was sustainable. Eventually, this aggressive growth led to a valuation collapse and a failed IPO. Next up, we have private equity firms, known for investing in more mature businesses. These firms provide capital for growth or restructuring, but they tend to focus heavily on short-term profits and cost-cutting. A prime example is Toys R Us, which was taken over by private equity firms. While private equity firms restructured the business, they also loaded it with debt. Toys R Us eventually went bankrupt, unable to keep up with evolving retail trends. Now let's talk about angel investors. These investors come in early, providing initial capital and often mentorship to help you get started. However, angel investors typically provide limited funding and might lack the resources needed for scaling. Take 1-1 a delivery startup in New York. They received early stage funding from angel investors, but couldn't keep up with bigger players like Uber Eats and Postmates due to a lack of resources. Eventually, they were acquired and shut down. Then, we have crowd investors. Crowdfunding allows you to raise capital from as many as hundreds to millions of investors while retaining full control of your business. However, managing multiple small investors can quickly become overwhelming. A classic example is the Coolest Cooler. The product raised over $13 million on Kickstarter, but production delays and financial mismanagement left many backers disappointed, and the company faced major backlash. In December 2019, the company announced that it was closing, with over 20,000 of the 62,642 original backers never receiving a cooler. The project came to be regarded as Kickstarter's largest failure. Family offices, are the private wealth management arms or entities of wealthy individuals and families that offer patient capital and flexibility in returns. However, they're very focused on preserving wealth, so they tend to move more slowly and be more conservative in decision-making. For instance, the luxury brand Chanel, controlled by the Wertheimer family office, was slow to adopt digital and e-commerce strategies, putting it behind faster-moving competitors like Louis Vuitton. Finally, let's talk about strategic investors. These investors often come from within your industry and can offer valuable partnerships and market access. By investing in startups in their industry, strategic investors can gain access to innovative technologies, new products and services, talent, and other resources that benefit their own growth and strategic goals. But if their goals don't align with yours, it can spell trouble. A good example is Tumblr, which was acquired by Yahoo in an attempt to boost Yahoo's social media presence. But Yahoo's conservative management didn't match Tumblr's creative and free-spirited culture. This misalignment led to a loss of users and a sharp decline in Tumblr's value, eventually leading to its resale for a fraction of its original price. So, what's the takeaway? Choosing an investor is about more than just capital. It's about finding the right fit. Each investor type comes with its own pros and cons. Make sure you align with partners who share your long-term vision. If you need help identifying the right investor for your business, do this. One, understand the funding needs of your business by gaining financial knowledge. Two, write a business plan to understand your industry better. Three, identify the investors that best fit your business using the guide in this video and the links in the description. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you need help choosing the right investor for your business, feel free to reach out in the comments or contact us directly using the links in the video description.